uh, the secretaries of the camp committees from Beldangi and Shanishari, all the colleagues here and the dear friends, thank you for your warm welcome and hospitality here. UNHCR and all of you here have been on a long journey for 25 years and over. Together with the government of Nepal and the international community, I am happy that for many refugees we have managed to find solutions. All of the refugees who have come forward, over 113,000 have now been resettled and found solutions in third countries and these are the refugees who came forward and wanted to be resettled and I'm really happy that we have together been able to find a solution to such a large number of refugees. <coughs> and I'm even more happy about what the camp secretaries have said is looking at the solutions for the remaining refugees here and the proposed way <coughs> Maybe I will cluster the issues around three main topics. Today we are left with approximately 6,500 refugees, almost uh, 2,500 families. And many of you had choices and you made some determinations about your future, your, what would you like to do and what, to, what were the choices and now with this group as the camp secretaries have said we have a few choices to explore. <laughs> One choice as you have rightly said is the choice to voluntarily repatriate back home to Bhutan. <laughs> and some of you have expressed that desire and I fully agree with the camp secretaries, UNHCR, together with the Nepal government, will approach the Bhutan government to look at the possibility of enabling that voluntary repatriation for those who want to go back. Thank you. As you know, for many years, UNHCR has tried repeatedly together with the government of Nepal and we've approached the Bhutan government about this. We have not had much progress, but I am optimistic that with the new government, the new parliament, that we may have the opportunity to really make some progress on this. And I commit to you that UNHCR will do its best, like it has always done, to try to pursue this also as one durable solution for those who want that. The second, as you have also highlighted, uh, Camp Secretaries, is looking at family reunification and those who have links with family members who have gone on the now, as you know, the resettlement process and program is going to be completed by the end of the year with the last uh, refugees who are in that pipeline going to third countries by the end of this year. But many of you are in the pipeline to try and seek family reunion in countries where your relatives and family members might be. I have noted your point and we will go to these countries which have processes ongoing and encourage these countries to expedite this process as much as possible that those in that line, in that process, have that option available to them as soon as possible.
As you know, UNHCR will be your advocate on that, but each country has its own rules, as you know very well. For example, I think the United States of America has closed that window, whereas Australia still has it open. So each country has its own rules. We can only ask the countries to look at those in the pipeline, but it is still up to those countries to do the process. But we will be your advocate on that. On the last, also another option for some of you, not all of you once again, is those who may have been uh, married to Nepali citizens. Again, under the law of Nepal, you have the option to explore that and we will work with the government under the laws of Nepal to see how that also could be option for those who fall into that category. And we will work with the government of Nepal who has shown leadership over 25 years to manage the refugee situation, to be generous and let the refugees remain here. The host communities have shared the land and the resources they have. And I am very confident that the government of Nepal, under the leadership of Prime Minister Oli, will also look at how best to deal with the remaining refugees in a dignified, humane manner.